Hi guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Tally and welcome to day one of Magical Readathon. My career is a graphic designer. I have basically the whole month to finish reading all the four books, the four OWL exams that I have for my career. I don't know if this is cheating, but I already finished reading The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, which is for History of Magic. And that prompt was to read a book with a witch or wizard on it, and I chose to read The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, and I don't know if that's cheating. Technically, I'm done with one of my OWL exams a day early. I'll just add an extra book to one of the prompts of my exams, just so it can be fair. I'm going to start with my second exam, which is Transfiguration. Read a book that includes shape-shifting. And I chose to read Clockwork Princess by Cassandra Clare. This is the third book of the Infernal Devices series, and I'm so excited because this is the last book. And I'm so happy and I'm so excited to read the love triangle between Tessa, Jem, and what's his name? Will. His name is Will. See how badly I want Tessa to be with Jem? You want to know my thoughts? Stick around until the end of this video. I'm so excited. Let's begin. We have three minutes for the magical readathon to begin. The first thing that I'm gonna do is get comfy and put on my pajamas really fast. I have three minutes, so let's get started. I'm going to fix my reading room very fast because this is my this is where I'm going to be sitting up. And my little blanket. Yay. This is the longest. Ah, there you go. Magical through readathon. Let's get started.
so it is now 2.30 a.m. 2.36. I am on chapter 4. And so far, so, so good. First of all, I am shipping Gabriel and Cicely, who is Will's little sister. I feel so bad for Jim. I just wish that there is like a cure for him. Read for maybe an hour more or I'll see when I get tired. I'm gonna take off my makeup and then just read in bed until I get tired. Stacks on deck, patrol on ice We can pop battles all night Baby, you can have whatever you like Yeah, you can have whatever you like Yeah, late night sex, so oh, it's so tight Guess up the chat for you tonight Baby, you can go wherever you like Now chapter 5, which 103 Currently 3 a.m. Okay, so it's now 3 a.m. and I'm getting super tired. I wish I could keep reading, but I'm just gonna go to sleep now. But I'm gonna wake up maybe 8 or 9 and keep reading. So I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Good morning guys, today is Wednesday, it is currently 10 a.m. and I woke up this morning and I read one chapter of Clockwork Princess. I am currently on chapter 6, page 125. I feel like all the characters have changed. Jem is sick and they're almost running out of the drug that he needs to stay alive and Tessa is engaged to Jem and Will is in love with Tessa and Will is Jem's parabatai, parabatai, so it's just like a complicated love triangle there, which I absolutely love. And I just want to keep reading more of it. I'm going to be very sad once I'm done with the book. I've heard a lot of people that it was very emotional. They're still desperate to find Mortmain, who is the guy who is trying to find Tessa, because supposedly he created her. We still don't know exactly what Tessa is. People say that she's a clockwork and a fairy. See what happens. I will update you guys as soon as I read more. On chapter 6, page 125. Jem is the cutest character ever in the story. Um, Jem and Tessa are mad at each other, or Jem is mad at her. And Jem sent the cat church to her bedroom with a note tied to the cat's neck. And I think it, it was just the cutest thing ever. <laughs> All right, guys. So it is now 9:52 p.m. It's about to be 10 p.m. I have tried to read some of the Clockwork Princess. And I am now on page 183 and 
This chapter is called That a Fire or Fire. Hi guys, update time. I only read one page of Clockwork Princess. I'm gonna go watch Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban because my sister's watching it and I am really tempting to go and watch it because I've only watched it one time. So I just might read The Prisoner of Azkaban, the book, just because I already finished reading My History of Magic Owl and that one was The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, like I mentioned in the beginning of this video. I'm gonna go watch it and I will update you guys as soon as I'm done with it. It's 1 a.m. now. I feel so tired, but I want to keep reading more of Clockwork Princess. It's getting so good. Tessa's getting on my nerves because she just can't just make up her mind. I have been trying to read as much as possible Clockwork Princess. Jem is the whole package. He's a sweetheart. He plays the violin for her. He made a song for her. He brings little notes for her using the cat, church. What else do you want? I'm on page 200, chapter 9. Okay, so I wanted to talk a little bit about the book. Um, there's the maid, Bridget. I think that's her name. She's always singing like horrible melodies and songs. And I feel like she has to do something like with the plot in this book. I'm not sure. For some reason, they put her there, right? And then um, Henry, who's always making, like, devices. I, I, feel, I feel like he's going to create a device, like a really important device. I'm going to go to sleep now. Today is the third day of the Magical Readathon. Today is April 2nd. I'm still reading Clockwork Princess. I am on chapter 10, page 200. I'm gonna eat breakfast. It's already afternoon, so it's probably, I think, yeah, I'm gonna eat lunch. I'm gonna eat lunch really fast, and I'm gonna try to eat and read at the same time. Just like reading slow this week just enjoy the story and enjoy clockwork princess because it's the last book of the infernal devices um series yeah Do you think I don't know what that means? Everyone says he wasn't my father anymore, but he was still all that remained of him. He was Okay, so it is 6 in the afternoon. Okay, so I'm on page 250 of The Clockwork Princess. And I now understand why people say that this one is very emotional. And I can't read anymore. There has been two parts that have made me cry already. Alright, let's keep reading. Alright guys, so it is now 11.13pm, it's Thursday night, and I am on page 384. I'm almost done. We're going strong. We're almost there. I don't want to be done with it. But another great thing is that I'm about to watch The Perks of Being a Wallflower on Netflix. I can't believe they just put it on there. I'm so happy. To search Mortmaid's face with your eyes, surely there is some hesitation there. Surely the thin lips were shaking at me. Today 
nice Friday night, but it is currently 9.51 p.m. and I think I read around like 45 pages of Clockwork Princess and I'm so happy because I, I just can't. I have so many emotions right now because I am on chapter 21 and if you have read the story, you probably know why I'm so excited. I'm not going to spoil it for you guys, no way, but if you haven't read Clockwork Princess, you guys have to read it because it's so, so, so amazing. I'm so excited. I'm going to keep on reading Clockwork Princess. So um, I also started reading Big Little Lies. This is for my Charms Owls exam and this one was to read a book with white on the cover. I began reading it and um, I guess it's going to be a murder investigation. Someone gets murdered, I don't know, but it starts out with an old lady who lives close to a school. And then I left on in the last chapter where um, different moms and parents are being investi investigated because of a murder that occurred and each of them have like different opinions of how they think the murder went down. So far I'm really liking her writing. It's very like easy to read. I'm currently on, I it's 10 o'clock p.m. and I am currently on page 444. I'm gonna continue reading. I'm so excited. <laughs> some carrot cake that my sister made. I might eat two more pieces. It is 11.13 p.m. and I have two more chapters to finish Clockwork Princess. in the last chapter of Clockwork Princess. Ah. <laughs> I'm so happy. It's taken me so long, but it's so, so good. Let's do this. I just finished my Transfiguration Owl exam. I read, let's see, how many pages? I read a total of 568 pages for this Owl exam, for my, for my Transfiguration exam, and I absolutely loved it so, so much. I have like a bittersweet feeling like finishing the series. I really love the ending. And that's all. <laughs> morning guys today is saturday morning i started reading big little lies yesterday night because i finished reading clockwork princess i am officially done with my second owl exam this morning i read like two pages of big little lies so far it's about a murder investigation between like parents i am really sad that i'm done with the infernal devices series I'm gonna miss all the characters because I feel like I grew a huge bond with them and I just loved reading about them. 
<sighs> I don't know, but they were such lovely characters, all of them. The ending was amazing, but the prologue of the book made me so sad and it killed me because it was just so good and unexpected from the, both of, from the characters. And um, I absolutely loved the book. It was very enjoyable, but um, it's a very good book. I truly highly recommend you guys reading the series if you haven't. And yeah, I'm gonna go make myself a tea, a green tea, um, iced coffee. Hi guys, so it is now Saturday night. It is currently 10 47 p.m. I've been reading Big Little Lies and I'm really enjoying this book. It's actually very fast paced. The chapters are really short so so whenever the chapters are really short I feel like I read faster and I really love the author's style of writing because she doesn't tell you exactly who got murdered but she gives you little details of who were the woman who got murdered. The book is about like different parents who ha are signing up their kids for kinder and in the beginning Jane who is 26 years old she's the youngest um, parent from all of them. Her little son named Siggy he choked another parent's little girl Renata whatever. She is a I hate that character. I hate her so much. We don't know yet if the little if the little boy Siggy actually choked her daughter. It's very funny. She includes a lot of similes. That was my whole week of reading for the Magical Readathon. I'm gonna end the video here because tomorrow I'm just gonna keep on reading Big Little Lies and hopefully I can start a different book. For my 24-hour readathon for Basically Readathon, my book did not get here in the mail so I'm gonna have to choose a book behind my bookshelf that I haven't read and has been on my TBR for the longest. I'm thinking about reading Sharp Objects. Um, I'm still debating which one I want to do but if I don't find anything that's the book that I'm gonna do but I thank you guys for joining me this week for Magical Readathon and I'm halfway done with Break little lies. Hope you guys enjoyed and hopefully I did not talk a lot but I read, I started reading Clockwork Princess. I finished it. I really enjoyed it. Now I'm on my third book of the Magical Readathon and I will need one more book to finish my OWL exams. So I will talk to you guys later and hope you guys have a wonderful week.